Today we're going to talk about buying a vacation rental home in the Palm Springs area. Today we're going to talk about buying a vacation rental home in the Palm Springs area. But before we get started, I'd like to bring your attention to a couple of links on the video blog. If you're a buyer, click Search All Homes for a list of homes based on the criteria you select that are available for sale in the Palm Springs area. If you're a seller, click Home Values and we will send you a free home evaluation. Now back to our topic. Many buyers who may be looking to purchase a second home or an eventual retirement home in the Palm Springs area consider turning it into a vacation rental when they're not using it. This can be a great way to offset the cost of home ownership and when you want to use the property you simply block out the time on the rental schedule. I'd like to talk to you about a few things to consider if you're in the market to purchase a vacation rental property in the Palm Springs area. The first thing to consider in any real estate purchase is the location. Having the property in a recognizable neighborhood close to restaurants and shopping and golf or any other tourist activity is very important in the vacation rental market. The next thing to consider is if you're going to buy a condo or a single family home. In either of these cases, if you're looking in a gated community or a community with an HOA, you want to check the rules and regulations and find out what their minimum rental period is. A lot of HOAs and gated communities have minimum rental periods of 30 days, which may limit you to marketing the property only in our high season months of January through April, or at least getting renters during that time. However, there are some homeowners that have met their rental goals in those few short months. Getting a single family home gives you the most flexibility and is the easiest to rent in the off season months. The thing you need to consider in a single family home is the number of bedrooms. A three bedroom, two bath configuration is the most popular configuration in all of the United States for a home. And that holds true also in the Palm Springs area. I bring this up because it also means you will have the most competition in the vacation rental market if you purchase a three bedroom, two bath home. If you can stretch up to a four bedroom home, you will be able to grow your revenues quicker because these homes are more unique and can accommodate more people. If you are looking in the five and up bedroom homes, these homes are very unique and you can charge much higher rents. However, you're only going to appeal to a much smaller population of tenants that can afford these rates. If you're looking at a condo, considering purchasing a condo, just remember it's more difficult to rent on the off season. If you purchase a condo for vacation rental, it should be in a gated community. You should look for one on the ground level that's near the pool with some sort of southern view or southern exposure. It's also important to have in-unit laundry in a condo for a vacation rental. The next most important thing in a vacation rental property is the actual condition of the property. The property needs to be fully furnished and in really good condition. You should have it stocked with dishware, cooking utensils, and all the linens in the property. The furnishing should be in good condition and up to date, not outdated. And all bedrooms should have king or queen size beds, no double beds or full beds. And every sleeping area needs to be a sleeping area. In other words, no convertible dens and all the bedrooms should be equally as equipped as possible. Consider you're renting to several couples and you want to make the accommodations as equitable as possible for those people. Offices and desks are not important in vacation rentals and although you should have enough dining chairs and outdoor seating or lounges to accommodate the number of people that you advertise you can sleep in the home. A pool is a must in a vacation rental, especially in a single family home. And a pool with a working heater is a must. A spa is actually also very highly recommended. The next thing to consider is your marketing. The more pictures you can take of the property, the more rentals you're going to have. Therefore, it's important to have a professional photographer take the pictures for you so you can market the home properly on the internet. If you decide to go with a rental agency model in terms of property management, they will take the pictures for you and charge you for that. But they will take care of all of the marketing. Which brings us to the three different types of property management for vacation rentals. 
The first is self-manage, where you do all of the work. You get the renters, you market the property, you meet and greet, you do all the repairs, you do everything. The second model is kind of a hybrid, and it's called the house manager model, where you do all of the advertising and marketing of the property on sites like vrbo.com, vacationrentalbyowner.com, or Airbnb. Dot com, but then you have a house manager that might do the meet and greets, that takes care of the cleaning after each tenant leaves, and also checks the property to make sure the tenants can get their deposit back. The third, most convenient for the homeowner and also the most expensive, is the vacation rental agency model. The vacation rental agencies typically charge between 25 and 30 percent commission on the, the revenue of the rent as well as a yearly marketing fee of $375 to $575 annually. They typically also have on staff service people who can repair things that happen in the home as the tenants you know, report them and they will also obviously charge you extra for that. I have many clients who have purchased vacation rental properties in the Palm Springs area and I'd be happy to share with you what the typical rents would be, or any other resources that I have regarding vacation rental properties in the Palm Springs area. If you have any further questions that I haven't answered in this video, please feel free to give me a call at 760-565-5714, and I'd be happy to answer any further questions you have about vacation rental properties in the Palm Springs area. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions about any other real estate related topic, I'd be happy to make a video about it. Just let me know. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.